Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to yet another Taskmaster. And uh, this week, something of my own creation, because apparently I hate myself and I like giving myself a challenge. So, <laughs> so uh, Naval Intelligence has determined that an enemy convoy of... Uh, this is a Japanese enemy convoy, by the way. Of six troop transports... Four light cruisers and two heavy cruisers will be moving out of the protection of air cover and we have been tasked to attack with our one battle cruiser and this is uh, 1940s tech both sides and 10,000 meters so we've closed to within 10,000 meters and then we discover that it's not that at all it is six destroyers <laughs> oh god I hate myself um for heavy cruisers and two battleships. Oh dear. The mission is very simple. We have to run away. Run away <laughs> very, very fast. Very, very far. Um, if we manage to get away, i.e. the enemy can no longer shoot at us because we're too far away. Um, and we're going too fast for them to catch up. Then uh, our score is simply the uh, number of hit points. Uh, the structure remaining on the on the battle cruiser. If we get sunk, it is how long we manage to last. Um, and obviously, those that survive. Uh, let's go for a, a British battle cruiser because this seems like the sort of thing that the British would end up doing. And we're allowed to. Un <coughs> Excuse me. We are indeed allowed to unlock all hulls. Now, uh, I don't know how any of the other admirals have done so. Um, it's myself, obviously. Um, Stealth 17, uh, Spartan Elite 43, Everyday is different, and History Guy Gaming. We're all giving this one a go. I don't know how any of them have done. Um, and I'm thinking possibly going for this, actually, the Battle Cruiser 5, which is, in fact, a British ship. Um, this is the Hood hull. And what's attracting me to it is the. 125 hull form, the 90 floatability, and the 68 resistance, which it's, no, stability isn't the best, but the, the floatability is top tier. Like, there's no one here at 90. Yeah, so the floatability is top of the line. The hull form is the best. I'm pretty sure that hull form is important when you're talking about uh, speed and maneuverability and stuff, and the the other stuff is not too bad. Eight thousand surface visibility as well is not terrible. Uh, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So let's go with a battle cruiser five. Um, let's go for a very small one, low displacement. Although that doesn't change the size, interestingly. Uh, yeah. So let's go for this threshold here, wherever it is. Okay. 41,300 tons or something like that. Um, we're going to want maximum bulk kids. We're not going to care about the range. We are going to care about speed. So, I think if I'm able to do at least 40 knots, I'll be okay. Uh, I think that'll be able to outpace anything except maybe destroyers, um, which we'll just have to deal with. Obviously, we're going to go with double geared turbines, oil, forced boilers, turbo electric drive two, and a shaft three. They are essential. Uh, right, let's look at towers. Now, in terms of gunnery, I'm also looking at weight. Twenty-six to thirty-two. Hmm. Can I identify the modern tower two? And for a secondary tower, let's go with. It's a pretty big jump to the modern secondary tower one. So let's go with uh, this setup. Looks a little odd. 
Um, can have a, a tool funnel four in. I would like more funnels. Let's get a, another tool funnel four in. It's going to be quite a compact build, by the looks of it. <laughs> Um, right. What's so we've got a hundred percent engine efficiency with that setup? Can I give away the tool funnel two? Almost. Let's go with the tool funnel four then. Can I get another knot out of the ship? Yeah, forty-one knots. Okay. Um, in terms of guns, we do not need much on the front because we will be running away. So we'll go with it for a single nine inch gun on the front. <laughs> uh, and then on the back, really, I, could, I can get tall or very tall. Uh, let's go for tall. Centerline guns. And weirdly, I'm gonna go for a triple nine inch guns. Wow, I still have a four weight offset with that. Somehow. <laughs> okay, that makes virtually no sense. Because, um, again, I'm going to need to shoo away enemies. Um, maybe with some eight inch secondaries. Kind of supporting. Like so. Uh, still have a bit of a four way off that. Again, I do not know how this is happening. Um, can I fit any more eight inch guns on? There and there. I'll do. Um, out of interest, can I fit a six? Cheeky six inch somewhere. No. Just looking for anywhere I can uh, mount anti-destroyer weapons. So the three-inch guns, weirdly, might actually come in handy. So we'll bring them along. They don't cost much in terms of weight. Um, explosives, we're going to go with auto, high TNT. Uh, I'm not going to go for the Electro Hydra. I'm going to go for Advanced Hydraulic, though. Standard shells should be fine. Because we're mostly hoping to um, deal with any destroyers that are coming after us. As well, a rear torpedo launcher might be interesting. Um, along with a couple of quintuple launchers as well. Just in case. Maybe a triple launcher or a double launcher. Yeah, double launcher. Just to give us just that little, just that little teeny tiny bit of a threat. Let's make them 24 inch electrics. Why not? We'll just throw them out. Uh, Rangefinder, let's go with the coincidence. Because again, I think I'm mainly going to be shooting at um, destroyers and things. Radar. Yeah, yeah, might might actually be worth it. Um, we need protection four, maximum barbette thickness. Uh, come back to the anti torpedo, all or nothing. Anti flood three, reinforced bulkheads. I can go for anti torp five, but that seems excessive. We're mostly going to be trying to dodge, so let's go for anti torp two. Um. Tell you what, I'm going to take those off. I'm going to put six inch guns there. Dual six inch guns. There, we go. there is method to my madness. <laughs> um, because they, they can't really fire backwards very easily. But if someone tries to come up on my sights, they might, they might prove useful. And again, I'm thinking mostly destroyer here. 
now that leaves me room for armor. I'm thinking, oh no, you want deck armor? No, I don't. <laughs> I just want the world's thickest belt. <laughs> or as thick a belt as I can get away with. Um, again, there is re reasoning behind this. Basically, like, I think I'm going to get like hits on my belt. Yeah, I would like a bit more belt extended, actually. So, tell you what, can we go for a 20... Almost. Okay, 20 and 9.1. Um, is there anywhere I can save weight easily? Not really. Um, so this is obviously the uh, HMS Cowardly. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this will work. I can get a little bit more I don't know, tower armor. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a very silly ship. But for the job that it's supposed to be doing, it might just work. Whew. Okay. Um, get a Let's let let's let's try. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm curious what approaches the other guys took as well. Okay, that's an enormous battleship. Uh heavy cruisers could be quite scary as well. Hard to tell with the destroyers. It does look like they have gun turrets though. Four of them. So hopefully they aren't packed full of uh things. And ports. Okay, so we spotted the enemy convoy in uh, inverted commas and well that's very convenient positioning yeah we're gonna run away at flank speed please and thank you very much um yeah you can just fire torpedoes at whatever you can hit run away that is not a transport ship. That is a destroyer with minimal torpedoes, which is good. Uh, we have the enemy battleships with Jesus Christ. Scary, scary, scariness. Uh, Dreadnought Force. Heavy cruisers. Uh, again, look pretty nasty, actually. Run, run away. Oh, took a hit. Took another hit. Oh, the secondary town. So well, well, well within range of the enemy guns. Oh, we have sent some torpedoes away. Which is interesting. There they are. Don't think they'll hit anything, but they might uh, cause them to uh, go the wrong way. Still taking uh, hits from nine and eight inch guns. That must be from, I guess, the heavy cruise. Speed up a bit. Oh, big hit on that destroyer. Um, nine inch gun overpen the mid belt. Very nice. Where are those torpedoes? Mm, uh, might threaten the battleship actually.
I really do not want to discover exactly what caliber of gun I'm being shot at with those battleships. Doesn't look like the cruisers are coming after me particularly aggressively. Right, that battleship is going to avoid, but I'm not sure that one will. Might be a little bit of a bonus. Whoa! Oh, we killed the destroyer? Because we hit it three more times with nine inch guns. That'll do. And. Torpedo time! They got decent anti torpedo protection. Although that's taken out her engines, which is very good for us. Uh, oh, three hits. And that'll cause quite a lot of flooding, which is good. Meanwhile, we are still running away. We're at 99%. Ah, ricochet. <laughs> oh, save me, ricochets. Oh, enemy torpedo. Z Sneaky. Fortunately, because I'm going right away from them, should have a decent chance to avoid the damn things. Oh, more hits on destroyers. Getting a reasonable distance away now. How far away are we? Mm, coming up on 20 kilometers. Enemy fleet doesn't seem particularly keen on uh, coming after us, which is weird. Right, our guns are silent. So we're out of range of our own guns. A 15 inch gun. Just hit the belt extended for four damage. Whew, that could have been really bad. So they're 15 inch guns on the battleships. Ooh. Actually, out of interest. Yeah, maximum bulk kids with anti torpedo 3 and anti flood 2. I don't think we killed that other battleship, but we did slow it down. And their heavy cruisers had 9 inch guns. Oh, it was the battleship with 8 inch secondary guns. Yeah. Just the battleship we have to worry about, really. We're out of sight of them. But they can obviously see us. <gasps> sneaky torpedo. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Lost sight of the HMS Cowardly. We've done it. We've done it, chaps. We escaped. Huzzah! Um, with 98% structure left. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, get rid of the HUD and take a... Take a, take a marvel at this beautiful ship. <laughs> designed for running away from things. <laughs> uh, dearie me. But yeah, I'm I'm certainly not sad about that outcome. Oops. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining me uh, for this very silly Taskmaster. Uh, do go and check out my other Ultimate Admiral stuff. Videos go up every day. Come join me on Twitch, um, where I stream Ultimate Admiral mm, twice a week, um, normally. Um, as well, I have a Patreon page if you want to support the channel. Um, and uh, links for all that stuff in the description. Uh, anyway, go watch all the other Admirals. Um, see how they did. Uh, links to all their videos will be in the description as well. Um, and uh, yeah, not bad at all. 98% remaining. Um, see how the other guys did. I'm certainly keen to see how they did. So um, thanks very much for joining me. And see you very soon. Bye-bye.